Hey guys, meteorologist Chris Tomer here with this morning mountain weather update. My first stop is the snow cone up there in Big Sky. Uh, that rain snow line was high up on the mountain, but you can see the top is caked. Bottom, it was all rain. Um, and that's what you typically would see this time of the year. I want to go to Jackson Hole right now. Uh, the view is still a bit obscured by cloud cover up there. At Rendezvous looking over to Cody Bowl, but uh, you can see some new snow up there at Jackson Hole. Let me give you the lay of the land. So this is the... Uh, water vapor satellite imagery, where you see the oranges and reds, that's gonna be your drier air aloft, and your moisture is gonna be in the whites and the blues streaming in. So there goes our storm system. It's barely moving out of Montana, and that's that wraparound effect. That's why it's still shrouded down in the parts of uh, Wyoming. That's gonna take its time. Next storm system, right here, you can see the spin. It's digging into California. This one will take a more southern track and become this Albuquerque low that will spin up and basically force the development of moisture in Colorado. That's our real next storm system. Then behind that one, look at the flow streaming up into the Northwest Territories. This will send a cold front down. That will happen quickly on 923, probably spilling in the 924. So Monday into Tuesday um, from Idaho, Montana, Wyoming, northern Utah, and into Colorado. That's where it's going to end up. So that's what lies ahead. Let me show you my bullet points. Here's what I'm expecting. So that real next storm system is 921, 922. So Saturday afternoon, Saturday night, Sunday morning in Colorado. Um, the totals are down slightly. The storm system yesterday looked very impressive, like it was going to be in the perfect position with lots of upslope today. It's a notch weaker but there is still going to be snow accumulation. So I'll show you those numbers. Um, and most of it's going to be above 9,500 feet. So things this time of the year tend to be a little more fickle um, because of a lack of cold air. And that's a, that's a huge factor. Um, but snow above 9,500 feet. And then behind that, the Canadian cold front, uh, that comes in roughly 923, races north to south through Montana, Idaho, Wyoming, Utah, and then into Colorado where it could stay into 924. So that is what lies ahead. Let me show you the jet stream forecast. So there it is by 1115 today, the low sitting in California, the dip in the jet, and then it begins to move towards the four corners. There it is on Saturday at 515. And it's coming out of the four corners. You can see the, the dip. Then it rolls into Colorado into that Albuquerque position, begins to throw that wraparound moisture and upslope against Denver, the front range, and up into the, the continental divide of uh, Colorado. So there it is on Sunday, still in place. Now behind it, it leaves a big broad open trough. So whatever's behind it, including that Canadian cold front, will run north to south and just sit there in that trough. So that is what will come afterwards. All right, here's the forecast radar and the satellite. So that is the precip forecast by this afternoon at 5.30. You can see a little bit of precip there in California, but let me put this into motion. Here comes the low. Here's Saturday morning. Here's Saturday afternoon. Things start to really turn active. You can see there a lot of rain in green over Colorado. Again, high snow levels at first, then they're going to fall to about 9,000 to 9,500 feet, but that's Saturday at 5 p.m. Here we are on Sunday morning at 5 in the morning. Yesterday, the forecast looked a little more solid with more blue over the mountains of Colorado than this. But nonetheless, there's still an area of low pressure that spins up. So that's Sunday morning. Here's Sunday afternoon. Low breaks and moves away. Now look what's coming upstream. This is Monday at 5 a.m. Look at the precip already moving from north to south out of Canada into Montana, Idaho. Uh, some snow at the very highest of elevations again with this. Rain in the valleys and lower on the mountains. So that's Monday at 5. Here's 5 p.m. It's already in Colorado at that point with, again, some snow at the very highest of elevations. And it probably lingers there. Look at that, into 924 in Colorado. And it's still there in New Mexico all the way through 925 and 926, just sitting in that big, broad trough. And then things finally start to dry out after that. Um, but that's the precip forecast. As far as snowfall goes, so what you see up there in Montana, Wyoming, and in the high Uintas, that mainly comes on 923, that Canadian cold front. Also that blue up there in the parts of BC and Banff, that's mainly 922 into 923 with that Canadian front. Okay, in Colorado, 
that's the low that spins up between Saturday afternoon, Saturday night, and Sunday morning. The numbers have gone down. Uh, again, things tend to be pretty fickle this time of the year. Let me zoom in. You can really see. Now, whereas yesterday we had a lot of places, let me see if I can get myself off of there so you can see the numbers a little bit better. Yesterday we had some magenta pockets running up against the front range high peaks, which would have been a foot or more. There aren't any of those anymore. The only magenta pocket is down south of I-70, um, closer towards the Mosquito Range and, and into the uh, the Sawatch where we could see 6 to 12 inches of accumulation. But otherwise, the numbers, you know, up along Loveland, and the very highest of elevations above tree line, running anywhere from probably 3 to 8 inches from Longs to Berthoud to Winter Park, very high up. Mount Beardstadt, Grays and Tories. Now back into the Elks, Capitol, uh, the Maroon Bells, probably six inches of snow as a grand total. But the bigger numbers, I mean, you can see Harvard running down over the top of the Collegiates. We could see eight, nine, 10, 11, uh, 12 inches of snow in those areas. All right, guys, pretty exciting still. Uh, it's, it's so fun to be tracking an early season storm system or storm systems. Um, sometimes in the fall, you get nothing. Uh, nothing at all, no resemblance whatsoever to the winter pattern, but we're just seeing a little foreshadowing right now, I have a feeling. All right, guys, have a great day, and thanks for tuning in here as always. Take care.